Hello, Monsters of Anakin, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 11 of my White Dwarf Scrimble campaign. Where last time... We, we had... we had... We had some issues. Some issues with... Cranny and Norskins and Sigfold. Oh my, however, we are rapidly dealing with those issues. I could have sent Grom Brindle to come and help out Aaron. However, I decided against that. I thought, you know what? No, he can, he can deal with this. I believe in him. He's got God Trek in his army, so uh, I think he should be fine. That's a lot of guys. Meanwhile, as, as usual, units or enemies at the front of our line get eviscerated pretty quickly. And the old sky hammer has done some damage. Mm -hmm. God, that gun is just fucking awful, isn't it? It's literally just a does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. It's like a what is it like a little Gatling cannon? I feel like it it should do a little bit more damage than, than that. You know. Either way, in the trees, the Slayers, it turns out, are pretty good at killing skin wolves. They both got bonus versus large, but the Slayers are not large, they're small. Meanwhile, there's still a huge engagement going over on our left flank as Gotrek and Felix just tank like three units all by themselves. Three units of skin wolves all lining up to try and kill them. Skyhammer dropping some bombs to assist. Gotrex already killed ten of the buggers. And Felix has killed nine. I mean, that's not bad. Felix, not bad. Slay is holding up on the flanks, protecting that from the Marauder Champions. And of course, we have the uh, Ulthar's Raiders there to assist, should we need it. Dwarf Warriors holding the front line. Doing very well at that. I mean, 45 melee defense, 85 armor. It's not bad, is it? It's uh, it's pretty good. For your bog standard infantry, you know they last until mid game, don't they? This means there's a lot of there's a lot of skin walls. Right, Felix has killed 12. Got Trek at 16. They're both doing very well though. Oh well, actually, Felix, how many kills have you got? You've only done 191 damage dealt as gold. What have you been killing? Definitely not skin walls. Oh, well, never mind. Skin Wolves are now running away. Mostly from Gotrek, I would imagine, rather than Felix. That's right, bitch. Get wrecked. Oh, I can't catch you up. Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Never mind. Never mind. Let's get Grimnir's heirs. And sort of push that back a little bit, which is great. You, right, we need to raid. We need to, we need to raid this. The dwarfs need me. There's a bunch of stuff I need to raid, but that's that's definitely one of it. Okay. Oh, oh, look at the money now. Rolling in. Th this is because I knocked down the defences, isn't it? That's that's what's happened. It knows what I did, and it wants to. No, are, you, are you guys? You may speak before my shield bearers and on the oath stone. Okay. Can I just give you some money? Agreed. Would you fuck off? I'm hoping they, you know, find somewhere else to go. Oh. Elrith. 
Oh, mate. 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 Like, we're both dwarves here. Can we just not? Can we just not? Right, where has Sigfold gone? Is he ambushing? Oh, no, they, he's down there. What are you doing down there, you lunatic? Okay, I can't reach you. I am the white dwarf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scooch here. Then I'm going to ambush. And we're going to get some bushels. Some lovely bushels. And more money so that we can... But I don't... Do, do, you, do you understand the concept of personal space? Because I feel like you don't. I there's a disconnect here, isn't there? It's a wee bit of a disconnect. Oh, hello, Ariel. Supreme Defender of Lauren. Yeah, sure, whatever. Nice to see you, you know, kick it. Is, is Alice dead? Did Alice die? Are you still at war with Alice? <laughs> you you, nope, Alice is dead. Right, I mean, Malice may not fight me. He may, he may be chill. Lord. He may be chill. We just don't know. Yeah, you better run. Well, he died the way he lived. Alone. Let's continue to meander. Did oh there you are. Oh Sigfold! That is unfortunate for you. That is very unfortunate for you. Well, we've got a choke point battle, and I was hoping to manage to plug them in to the choke point because they are heading across to try and attack us. However, Ulrika has quickly reached the chaos lines and is now hitting them with literally everything. Ulrika's kill count increasing, increasing, increasing. Oh, look at that. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff also slowing them down a little bit. Meanwhile, we have uh, little Grom Brindles here as well. Ulrika charging in to just try and keep them back for a moment. I mean, we've already done a lot of damage to the enemy army, but I'm sure we could do more. That's it. Get them, boys. A troll, and we're troll slayers. Yep, down he goes. Okay, we've managed to sort of like pen them in. This is what we wanted. I didn't want them to like get out and start spreading out, so we needed to rush them basically, just get in there. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, little, little whip. But didn't do too much damage. Looks like we are. Hold them back. Got dampened. Got fascination. Oh. Our slayers took a bit of damage and the Severed Claw are chasing after them. However, the Iron Drakes see them off. And it looks like Sigvold once again getting his ass handed to him by Grom Brindle. Do you think he'll live? Eh, probably not. Oh, poor Sigurds. Now, must remember... Did that get rid of one of my crutches? I think it did. Good. I was going to dance. Blah, blah, blah. Right. We'll, we'll take this. We must, we cannot forget to raid Sigvold's place. Because if I do forget. Lord of Clan Morgan. 
Oh, I shall never hear the end of it. Welcome, Dowie. Mm -hmm. Do you bring a gift of Grumril to aid in negotiations? Kind of. Also, I mostly want to spend money on myself, to be honest. How long before we get... What do we need? Five growth. It's still going to be a little while yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I will upgrade you. I need to upgrade you, don't I? Because what point can we get the thingamajig? Next, right. Okay, so let's upgrade all of this. And then we've run out of money. But still, I think a good use of that cash. We get Rally, and then I'm probably going to get Dowie Firepower to make my guns even shootier. But to be honest, what I really want is, like, potentially to get just, like, a shit ton of either hammerers or grumbling... Not grumbling guard, but long beards with great weapons. Something like that. Oh, you're back, are you? You're back. A bajillion armies they're fielding. I'm not a fan of that. If you, if you just like run away, you have. How can I help? <laughs> oh, fucking love it when they do that. And and this, okay, I'm gonna pivot back to my soapbox, but this this is this is from so. People with siege battles, right? They they want they, they got sick of the siege battles. Why did they get sick of the siege battles? Because either it was them defending from the AI, or alternatively, it was you know having to fight it because the auto resolve was going to kill your units. And the battles that you kind of feel like you should be able to auto resolve but can't because it's going to cause too much damage to you are probably the most annoying because you know they're not going to be fun battles. But they could be if potentially the enemy actually tried to defend the places. But I've had like Katarin, right? Katarin, Queen of Kislev. I'm I'm approaching Kislev with an army. What does she do? Books it. Just runs away. Doesn't want to fight me. And it doesn't really make much sense that the Queen of Kislev would, when, you know her capital was under threat from the forces of chaos would at the first sign of trouble just fucking run for her life but the AI I say the AI doesn't want to fight you it wants to sack your settlements uh, what's that growth 38 how much growth do we have how much do we, do we need it's four turns uh, okay, let's upgrade you and you, and then we'll leave it. One of the things I am looking forward to in Total War Pharaoh is the fact that I think the, the resource thing from Troy is just one of the best things they've ever done. And the reason is because I'm being very cautious about like recruiting more armies until I need them. Because I've got a lot of settlements that need upgrading. And if I spend money on an army, that's money that I can't then spend on building stuff. Whereas in Total War Troy, you don't need to worry about that. Because your, your building and your recruitment stuff are completely separate. And I think that's a really, really, really good change. I don't have time for words. The Dowie need me. Don't. Oh, you f fucker. You absolute fucker. You absolute monumental piece of shit. Oh, you. What? On my way. Oh, you motherfucker. My anger burns bright. What? If you say so, Beardling. 
What do you want? I was really hoping. I should have. I should. I should have done something about it. Do I leave Aaron to deal with? I can't just. I can't just retreat all the way back over there. It's just silly. I was really hoping. Okay, here's what we do. March over here. We'll... Underway across... The Doobie Watts set. Uh, we could engage you. I think I think that's via you'll probably run away though, which is the only problem. And if there's other armies nearby. I mean there's probably not. Yes. Nope, don't raise. Do that. What do you want? Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew it. I was like, I I should I should recruit an army. I should. That's what I should do, and I didn't. And look what happens. I'm not much for words, but I'm pretty nifty with it. Flat, no. Get oh, we actually did get the ambush. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, eat my ambush, bitches. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? No, I mean you should have. Okay, Ulthar's rangers are attacking Bilius Thundergruff. Missile attack. And of course, we've also debuffed him. So we've got uh, less missile chance, less armor. And he's losing health very rapidly. Ooh. That's it. Keep chucking axes at his face. Oh no, he farted on us. Ah, oh, absolute monster. Still, that's going to stop him from attacking us momentarily while we just finish him off. He's down to... Oh, he's, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's running. And he's down. Meanwhile, at the front of our line, Gotrek and Felix... Well, Gotrek is busy fighting this blob. And Felix is unfortunately now being double teamed by a couple of Chaos heroes. Fortunately, he races back to Gotrek's sides. And it looks like the forces of Chaos have had enough. Fleeing from that engagement with just a few... There we go. You can see the several units starting to rout here. There was like three enemy heroes. And uh, Gotrek has, has managed to rout them all. The enemy Chaos Sorcerer, though, is heading straight towards our missile units. I don't know what he's planning to do, considering that... Um, you know, he's not hes not really a melee guy. I mean, sure, he's going to kill a few of them. I sent Gotrek and Felix to, to chase him down. Chaos Trolls coming back for another round. Unfortunately, our crossbows are busy fighting off that Chaos Sorcerer Lord. This means the Chaos Trolls are going to be mostly unhindered in their charge, although they do go for Aaron, which is fine, because that means, obviously... You know, they're not charging our infantry. And, yep. The ambush is successful and the Chaos Forces are defeated. Um, um, yeah, I could use the Earth Gold. With any luck, they won't lay siege to that settlement. Did they lay siege to it? Uh, yes, they did. Well, there goes my luck. This is where I wish I'd, like, you know, built recruitment buildings literally anywhere. The dwarfs need me. Vengeful, oh lord. Okay. It's going to take you fucking ages to get back. I mean, we do... We do have something here. 
if we get you. Yes. Get him out of here. And then recruit fuck all for the next like ten turns. Oh, and they're already pooping out more armies. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking disaster. Oh, I definitely, definitely should have done something about that. Do you have, I don't think, do you, wait, do you have anywhere to live anymore? Do you? I think you do, do you? Do you, do you have anywhere to live anymore? Hang on. Uh, one. There! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck my life. Okay. Malice? We got butt plugged. Deeply unfortunate. Oh, right, okay. What lets us recruit more stuff? Must be a building that does it, right? Uh, increases. Nope. Yeah, uh, law. Okay, here we go. Local recruit capacity. Yeah. Oh, four turns. That's gonna be a long time. Okay. It's as good as done. The fact they haven't attacked yet suggests suggests that could be worse. I mean, it's going to be annoying, but it's not going to be the end of the world. It is, however, very fucking annoying. If we can, like, kill... we can kill you, then I can bring you back. And then maybe we can deal with those guys before they do anything hasty? You got 44 missile power. It's alright, Net. Uh, give you right. Then we need to do we need to do some raiding in their lands. Can't do beastmen. We can raid that. Vampire counts tricky. And then raid dark. Right. Well, we can we can we can raid we can raid malice. It won't make him any. It won't make him happy. But he's not happy anyway. So you know, fuck him basically. I need to cross something off my big book of grudges. Uh, I think I have to try and hold them off. Why do we have fireball towers? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I don't think we should have fireball towers. This one's not. This one's firing the bolts like I think. And then the the fuck is going on? The fuck? We we shouldn't have fireballs. Fireballs are like they're like an upgradey thing. So why do we have fire? Oh well, never mind. It's working in our favour. Um, okay, so on the plus side, they've brought a lot of Iron Drakes, um, which means... I mean, Iron Drakes are going to be limited usefulness, to be honest, in taking the walls, which is good. Now, they're attacking over here. They're also attacking over here. So we've had to split the defenders. They are bringing siege towers, and, of course, our fireballs, for whatever reason, are taking out 
large chunks. So I've taken out one of the siege towers. Which is nice. And we've got our missile units. We've got the slayers here as well to deal with this little problem. And then the rest of our forces are over here. Um, unfortunately, there's not many good places to build towers. Like, here would be a really great place for a tower. Unfortunately, there's like one here, which is not great. One here, which is also not great. Um, it's like one over here, also not particularly great. It's not, not particularly great. Oof. Um, tower placement here and of course they do have the flame cannons which are doing a bit of a number on our walls and also trying to pick off the thunderers here as well and uh, yeah the, the gyro bomber not only knocks out most of a unit of of warriors which I'll be honest comparatively not really that useful and they're also really they're, they're sniping my rune lord and I don't really have any way of dealing with that I mean I, I probably should have turned the thunderers on it but uh, they were busy elsewhere so I decided to leave them to it at least the warriors of Dragonfire pass the flame. Oh no, they're not flame resistant. They just have flame attacks. Okay, well, never mind. okay there's a super squig coming. Let's send uh, Daleds to go and hug it. Hug. Well, that guy on the corner was unlucky. Never mind. That's what he gets for sitting on the corner, isn't it? Hmm? Okay, the Thunderers are not having a good time. We've got hammers coming through the breach as well. Uh, thankfully, the Iron Drakes coming over the top of the wall will get caught by our. By our warriors. Slayers spilling out into the city. Fortunately for us, we do have our crossbows here. Once they're in position, we'll be able to take out most of these guys fairly easily. And the Iron Drakes won't really be able to do too much damage to us. And there's just Thunderers there. So we could potentially like use the crossbows to pick those off as well. So this section of the city should be fairly easy to defend. Um, there's another unit of Slayers which are getting shot to pieces by the flame towers. Again, why we have flame towers, I don't know. Meanwhile, the Iron Drake is climbing up the wall and dying to the Longbeards there. Dwarf Warriors with great weapons, cutting down the miners with blasting charges. They didn't get a chance to use their blasting charges. The, th the hammerers here could potentially be an issue, and uh, this, the Gyro Bomber, is getting picked off. Daled is in here, and I probably should have pulled him out of this fight. I left him in there fighting the hammerers. That was a mistake. The Gyro Bomber is now fleeing away from that engagement, and those Iron Drakes are being defeated. The Flame Cannons are going to be an issue, because there's no way we can really get close to them with our slow-moving infantry without getting shot to pieces. But never mind. We've managed to wipe out most of the Iron Drakes. What we can do is actually cross over here to the other section. We'll come down and then attack these guys in the rear. The Miners and the Hammerers aren't having a huge... Huge amount of luck cutting through our long beards. We've even got more long beards held in reserve should we need it. This is starting to look fairly, in, you know, th th this is looking fairly controllable. There's only six iron drakes left. We just need to finish them off. Uh, these hammerers, they're, they're cutting through our long beards, but also taking a lot of damage in return. So, uh,. I have hopes that we can potentially do enough damage there to lessen the impact that they can have on the rest of the battle. And then we, we, you know, obviously we're using our supplies to build towers all the time, which means we can wear them down slightly with attrition. Then we can just pick them off afterwards. Crossbow bolts picking off those slayers and hammerers. There's not much left outside the city, and our fresh unit of slayers has come down to engage the enemy lord. And the miners down there. The slayers also getting absolutely destroyed. We've got another fresh unit of slayers up on the wall there, just keeping those towers operational. We're doing a bit of damage to the flame cannon, which is fine. Uh, we don't want to be in range of it. Whereas the Dragonfire Pass didn't manage to finish off those either. There's still three of them left, and they haven't broken or shattered, I should say. The hammer is still going for it, but we do have some dwarf warriors with great weapons, so we should be able to get them in the rear there. If we could just, like, I, I need to keep those towers operational so they can keep firing down on the flame cannon, but once that tower goes down, we'll bring them off the wall. And we've got these guys surrounded. So actually, looking at the balance of power, we can see that we've actually done significantly more damage to them than they've done damage to us. We started off with more, but uh, I think we're winning this. Okay, the tower goes down, so there's no point in holding this anymore because that would only just you know, give us access to the towers. Also, we're getting shredded by that uh, flame cannon fire. 
don't know what you're doing there because you can't actually take that objective, mate. Do you, do you realize that? No? Also, there's a tower behind you slowly tickling your health points away if it hits, which it's obviously struggling to do. Never mind. Meanwhile, the last few Iron Drakes being picked off there, and the enemy general has managed to do in the Slayers. Just huge piles of dead bodies here. I think they were there to start off with, though. However, we do have an entirely fresh unit of Slayers now spilling out of the walls to go and mop up the survivors. And uh, the Slayers, there's only two of them left. <laughs> I think we should be fine. Iron Drake's opening up through the through the fucking gate there. Doing more damage than I would like. But the number of hammerers and miners has, has dwindled significantly, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're doing okay here. The hammerers have done a lot of damage to us, but they've also suffered quite a bit of damage in return. And the flame cannons losing any targets now to decide to come inside the city. Which is fine by me because we're upgrading towers all over the place. So we've got a level 4 tower over here. It doesn't have a great arc of fire, but it is helping. There's a. Oh, 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 oh. There's routing. There's routing going on. Those guys are now routing, which means we managed to break that, which is great. These guys here will manage to break through our defences, but we do have another unit of uh, Dwarf Warriors in coming from that direction. And having knocked out pretty much all of this attack, we just need to finish off this, this general. That's it. Hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. Bury a pickaxe in his back. If we could just finish him off. Uh, he's routing. He's afraid. He's afraid. He's off. He's gone. If we could just shatter him. Or even better, kill him. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. And he's down. Excellent. Which means all these forces are now free to move back over to the front of the city. Looking at numbers, they've only got 172 guys left. And although they have managed to break through here, they've taken an absolute hammering. Pun intended. So we're going to pull our forces back. Because we, if we're going to fight these hammerers, we're going to do it in the shadow of this tower where we can just batter them. Meanwhile, the flame cannons moving into the city. But to be honest, there's limited... You know, they can't really do very much. They're going to be of limited usefulness. And when my crossbows arrive, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. So crossbows and slayers now moving towards the front of the city. Oh, oh, but it looks like they've had enough. And the enemy army routes. The city is safe. For the moment, anyway. Well, we may have lost most of our army to do it, but we did manage to take him out. Uh, you... Yes, we laid siege again. Well, mind you. Yeah. Looks like you're going for easier prey. Iron Frost. Which you, you may even still have a, have trouble then. Can I go out and hunt you down? Uh, apparently not. It's a bit weird. It's a bit fucking weird. Let's get some cannons. 
can never go wrong with cannons. Okay, we will not forget to raid. There we go, we'll raid them. And then we will head back to hopefully get... I mean, if, if they take out Iron Frost, I, I'm not that bothered, to be honest. I can I can take or leave that. God damn, we knocked down the defences here, and I shouldn't have. I should have kept them. More importantly, I should have killed these guys. I should have recruited... As soon as they popped up, I should have recruited an army and killed them. Don't bother making peace with the wandering armies. It never works. Just exterminate them. That's that's the lesson for today. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.